right guys welcome back happy 2021 today we have a video like no other mostly because i have a ring light set up so in honor of the new emma chamberlain wildflower collab i thought i would do an ode to my little baby sis and do a 21 outfits video just like her but devon style so <sighs> get ready i hope you guys like them i literally will probably hate most of them by the time this video's up, but I love playing dress up. I love getting dressed up. I have a massive shopping addiction, so this is my excuse to use them since we're not going anywhere. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, I miss you guys. Hope everyone's doing good. I've had three matchas today. I'm back on my matcha shit. And I perfectly cleaned the frame, so the second shit gets out of frame, it's piled up. It's a disaster in here, so enjoy this crazy vid. Here's my first outfit. I'm wearing these Gucci Mary Jane shoes that I got for Christmas, baby pink, and then just some white socks. This. Unif dress, and then this shirt's from Brady Melville, and then this is the Prada Cleo bag and some vintage Fendi Sunnies. This look is very Marc Jacobs 1993, if you know what I mean. That's what I feel like. I don't know. It's comfortable, I like being comfortable, but then the shoes are like a moment. I just realized, I think I'm gonna drink some wine. Warning. I just discovered a natural wine store by my house. It's been going crazy. Second look I already know is going to enrage some of you guys. But I'm team, wear it if you like it, and if you don't like it, move on with your life. It's literally clothes. But like these pants, the back of them make me so happy. I don't love how low they are. I'd prefer maybe a little up to here, but for the sake of the back, we're gonna make it work. These shoes were mine when I was in middle school. I designed them on Nike ID and I ordered them two sizes too big because I didn't know that it was men's sizing. But future me gets to enjoy them now. So thanks middle school dev. I also feel like this is an outfit I wanted to wear in middle school. So this is kind of an ode to middle school dev. This jacket is from the brand To Be Free, which is a clothing brand that my mom used to be obsessed with and I used to be obsessed with and Paris Hilton used to wear it. Or on the sleeves it says To Be Free and then whatever. I don't know. My sister got me this vintage Dolce & Gabbana bag off Vestiaire for Christmas. I don't know where I'd wear this, to be honest. I feel like this is something I'd wear for like 10 minutes and then eat and feel a little bloated. But I really like the back. Maybe I'd like take a pic in it. This outfit, we're gonna go dance and have fun. Or like I'm going to go see my boyfriend in concert and I like wanna look hot, but also dance and like not have to worry about holding a bag. So it's like hands free, you know? This is clearly inspired by one of my most favorite outfits <laughs> ever. Kate Moss sheer dress moment. I just love how she did not care at all. It was like, fuck it, no bra, sheer dress, gala, let's go. You gotta be in the mood to wear it though, because if you're not in the mood to like kind of be naked, then it doesn't really work. This girl has been at the beach all day. She like definitely didn't bring shoes, but if she did, she's like, oh, do you have anything I can borrow? These are the only thing she has. That's who this girl is. This skirt is vintage Abercrombie and the shirt is vintage Abercrombie. Abercrombie and Fitch if you want to get like serious. These sunglasses are from Shady Specs. She is casual, no makeup, only sunscreen. Clearly the wine's kicking in. I don't know what bag I'd use this with. I don't know where I'd wear it to. It just makes me happy for some reason. It's all vintage. Vintage suit from Jet Rag. Vintage top from Stella Dallas, 10 foot single in Brooklyn. And then of course, my Salem Mitchell wildflower collab case. These shoes are from Puma. I feel like it's kind of a play on when Julia Roberts wore the tux to the Oscars. I've always wanted to do a look like that. One day I will. Next, now we have this look. 
I feel like there's something here. This to me is sexy date night. You don't know where the night's gonna take you, but you look good for any occasion. Cause you kind of look nice with the silk top, but then you're like casual, so you're in denim. If you're finishing dinner one night and he's like, yeah, my friends are hanging at this bar down the street. Let's go meet up with them. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm down. Or you're like, hey, my friends are hanging down the street. Let's go meet up with them. Either way works. I've had these for like a year and never worn them because they're a little too long, but I'd rather them be too long than too short. Let's be honest. This is what I've been looking like recently. Just out of mask. Honestly, I'm so comfortable and I like this outfit. Very into my big bag. This Adidas track jacket zips all the way up. I love it. These pants are actually from uh, Amazon. Lauren sold me on them, so shout out to Lauren. They're a little short for me. These are not Uggs. They're actually Paj boots, which are like vegan Uggs. And the inside is leopard print. Isn't that cute? This hat is from Society Vintage. I love the way this hat fits me. I have such a big head and for some reason just really works well on my head. Anyways, here is another outfit. You guys, I'm trying. This is harder than I thought. I definitely have Martin with me in this. Thank you, good boy. I love my dog. Here's a close up if you need it to be sold. Next outfit, yeah. Here's our next look. I'm wearing some by far little mules. The top's vintage Jean Paul Gaultier. I got it from Wasteland. This jacket is also vintage. I can't remember where I got it from though. And then I'm just using my vintage Chanel bag. I'm weird with belts. I'm trying to get better at learning how to like feel myself in a belt, but I kind of feel like myself in this. Next outfit, I'm tired, but I love you guys. This sweater, my mother got me for Christmas from the real real. I'm definitely moving around in this. You know? I don't know, I feel cute. Want a close up? Thank you guys, thank you. On to the next one, on to the next one. This outfit you have to have some wine in your hand for. Dinner party at my mature friend's house. Realization, par dress. These um, Stuart Weitzman suede knee-high boots that I got from the outlet. This belt is vintage Gucci. I got it off the real real. Okay. This is party night. I've got my fun platforms on, nice leather pants. I've got a fun top, smallest bag, no responsibilities. These shoes are Saint Laurent. These pants are vintage Moschino that I actually got from Wasteland. I think they were $50, but the leather was so nice. So I figured I'd buy them and take them to this tailor that I found. Her name is Lori and I'm obsessed with her. She's so good. She like literally made them fit me perfectly. Made my butt look so cute. Every time I've walked into her store she's just blasting music in the zone and she's just a joy yeah this top is vintage and this bag is from by far it kind of looks like a pencil pouch with a strap very uh coyote ugly definitely drinking vodka in this this is a vodka outfit thank you next Another one, this top is vintage. I got it from Squaresville. It ties in the back. And then this is the same pencil pouch bag. These jeans are from Feel. And then these vintage Manolo Blahniks. They're like tan and pink zebra. This is our new jeweled case. It has little jewels on it, it's very cute. I don't know where I'd wear this, you guys. Definitely running late in this. What are you guys eating? Did you decide what you wanted yet? Come on, get together for pick, come on. That's the vibe. I thought I was gonna stop vlogging because my camera battery was dying and I was like, you know what? I've been at this for hours. I should just take a break and start tomorrow. Went to take off my camera off of the tripod that I've been filming on. This is the like screw that went in there. It fully broke. Maybe it'll give you a different angle. I'm gonna play for a second, hold on. Picking up where we left off. This is very Sex in the City. This 
Look at the detail. Disclaimer, the skirt's not steamed. I apologize. I just don't have it in me right now to steam the skirt. This is kind of like Liv Tyler. I'm just throwing out random names at this point, honestly. I don't even know anymore. We'll call this the Gucci girl because the boots are Gucci. This top is vintage Gucci and these shoes are... <laughs> These sunglasses are vintage Gucci. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Here's another Sex and the City-esque outfit. This dress is vintage Moschino. I love it. Same sunglasses that I've worn so many times throughout this. And then the same Marc Jacobs bag that I just wore. And then these beautiful Dior Galliano shoes, so cute. It's like lips and hibiscus and dice. I'll show you a close up. How cute are they? And they're completely brand new. They came in the original box. So yeah, that is that. Here's another one. These pants are vintage. I got them at the flea market. This top is Jean-Paul Gaultier. My sister got it for me for Christmas. And then this is the same French jacket and I cannot be bothered to figure out a pair of shoes to go with this, to be completely honest with you guys. These were... These could be cute. I think the pants are too short for me. But that's the risk you take shopping at a flea market where you can't try stuff on. I, I don't want the flare. Like, I don't like when it does that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I want the flare to be on the ground. Anyways. <laughs> Good day in my mind. Hear me out. If I'm in the mood for, like, an 80s night, I'd wear this New Year's. I, like, kind of love it. These leggings are Versace. I got them off Essence on Super Sale. The shoes are Saint Laurent. And then this shirt is vintage, obviously. And then these earrings are eight other reasons. But I love these shoes and I love these pants. Like these pants make me feel so good. Oh my God, it'd be so Carrie Bradshaw if I was like, put on a little mule. Not, no. I don't love it, but whatever. I feel like I'd wear some like, big sunglasses or something with this. This is very like, like, if you see me and I'm in a big shirt and big pants but heels, I'm probably PMSing or I just don't feel good. But I want to have fun, obviously. I'm there. We're getting loose. Yeehaw. Stagecoach, maybe? One day? This set is vintage. I can't remember where I got it from, though. I think it's vintage bongo. And then these shoes are from, like, a boot barn on Sunset. And then this wildflower case, the mushrooms. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I don't know. We're here now. Orson Dyrus, beautiful flowy dress. Love it. The gorgeous back detail, the rouging, the silk, everything. But I can't find my other shoe. These are from Goodwill. They're little pumps. And then they like lace up. She's cute and she's fun and she's sophisticated. Sophisticated lady. I probably have like an elegant evening bag, but I don't have many of those to be honest. So just picture it and then picture the other shoe. Oh, and I put on red lipstick. It's the Supreme Pat McGrath collab on my lips right now. The last one, you guys, it's the last one. We made it. The last look. Um. I want to wear this on my birthday. I love it. It's really cute. Um, it's handmade in New York. And yeah, I will be wearing these fuzzy socks with it. They're leopard print fuzzy socks. And I freaking love them. I got them for Christmas. But you know what? Fashion is your mood. Fashion is fun. Yeah, I'm tired. But wear whatever you want. We only live once and we're only here for such a short amount of time. You might as well look fabulous and wear whatever you want. So yeah. I miss you guys and I love you. And thank you for watching and I love you, Emma, my girl. I hope you have an incredible 2021 and appreciate all the little things. I can't, I literally forgot to pair a wildflower case with every look. I'm so sorry. Isn't this color good though?